Trebania, I'm Durbin, and I'm going to read way too much into The Martian, starring Matt Damon, since we got The Great Wall, starring Matt Damon, just on the way. I thought it'd be fun to go back into another Matt Damon movie that I really enjoyed and read way too much into it. Lots of things I enjoyed about The Martian, but I think the thing about The Martian that really stands out to me the most, the thing that I'm going to be reading way too much into with this, is the picture that the whole plot and story of this movie depicts. I mean, if you look at the plot and story of this movie, they thought Mark Watney, played by Matt Damon, had died on Mars. So they leave him because the big old storm, they can't stick around. This is their window. They got to go. They didn't want to leave him. They didn't even want to leave the body, but they had to get going. And so they just assumed he was dead. And surprise, surprise, he wasn't dead. Surprise, surprise, he's the kind of guy that can figure out how to survive, even if it means growing potatoes out of his poop. His poop. But he did it. He lives. So here's the miraculous thing that I think this story depicts to me. Everybody at NASA could have just said, okay, we have lost one astronaut. We don't want to lose five more or anybody else so we could cut our losses. But that is not what they do. They start putting their heads together to figure out what can they do to save the one and to bring that one one person home so that he won't die so that he won't perish out there on mars but so they can bring him back home you have teddy who's the head of nasa and he's probably the most shallow character in this but there's also depth to the moral things that he's wrestling with i mean the shallowness comes is that yeah he doesn't want the Ares crew the five that are on it to go back and die to save mark watney and he does want to do what he can to save mark watney a lot of that's probably just so they look good in the press but I'm sure there's some genuine human goodness in there, but you know, he's also got the whole idea of, okay, but we can't sacrifice anymore. It's just one person, but he's not against them doing what they can to save. So it's interesting as they're dealing with these different moral things going on here. But what ends up happening is you have even the Chinese space program now coming together to work with NASA to do everything they can to bring him home. So now you just have this picture of these people doing what they can and it's sacrifice that's going into this to bring home Mark Watney. And the plan they come up with fails. So where does this leave them when this plan fails? The only other thing that could possibly be done, Ares 3, which is almost home, can slingshot around the Earth and go back to Mars. And the crew of the Ares 3, they have friends, they have family, they have spouses, they have children all waiting for them. They have lives to go back to. What does this crew all decide to do together? Together, they make the decision, it is worth it to go back for the one. I'm telling you, at any given point, any of these people could have looked at their own lives and said, it's not worth it. But they placed that value on Mark Watney and they slingshotted around the earth and they flew back out to Mars to save the one. And to me, I think that's just one of the greatest pictures of, of the story Jesus was trying to tell when he's talking about if a man has a hundred sheep and one goes astray, won't he rejoice even more over the one when he goes and he finds it and he brings it back to the 99? So it's the same thing with your heavenly father, that he rejoices so greatly over the one that was lost that gets brought back home so that they won't perish. And I just think that's the amazing picture. And I didn't place that value on me. You didn't place that value on you. Jesus placed that value on us and found us worth the sacrifice. And he did sacrifice everything. He stepped out of heaven. He came to earth. He, he gave up so much, including dying a torturous death so that we could be redeemed and so that we could be brought back home. And it's just, it's amazing to think of the kind of love and the kind of sacrifice that that actually was. But what an amazingly comforting thing to know that he places that value on our lives and that he rejoices greatly when we decide to come home because he opened the door and he made the way and I just, I don't know, I thought that this movie was a great picture of what that kind of love and that kind of sacrifice looks like. If you read The Martian, re well, hey, if you read The Martian, what'd you think of the book? I haven't read it yet. But if you saw the movie, what did you read into The Martian? Make sure to let me know in the comments while you're there. Hit the subscribe button and become a Durbanian. And right next to that subscribe button is that little bell. That's the notification button. Click that. Get notified the moment I drop a new video. Like and share this video. I'm Durban. Thank you for checking out Durbania.